We're going back to our top story now. As we mentioned, President Hosni Mubarak of Egypt has stepped down after 30 years of authoritarian rule. Now, CTV's Marquette Smith caught up with an Egyptian professor at the University of Maryland who watched the historic events unfold at her home in Silver Spring. That's right. What an historic day it is in Egypt and across the world. And I'm sitting here in the living room of an expert on Arab and Muslim media studies, Dr. Sahar Kamis of the University of Maryland. You are also an expert on new media and social media, which is how this revolution started. Yes, but before I talk about that, I just want to tell you about my feelings, my emotions today. Yes. Not as an expert, not as a professor, but as an Egyptian citizen, a very, very proud and thrilled Egyptian citizen. I've never felt more proud before in my whole life to be an Egyptian. <laughs> we see the people on TV, and when we listen to the Al Jazeera, I keep hearing this word, shabab, shabab. Tell me what that means. Yes, shabab means youth or young people. And indeed, the reason that you're hearing this word over and over again is because these young people, the youth, are the blood of this uprising in Egypt's modern history. Uh, within the last 18 days, we have seen a, a total revolution in everything going on in Egypt. And guess what? It was triggered by the young Egyptian men and women behind their computer screens, tweeting, blogging on their Facebook pages, chatting, texting, you name it. You cannot think of a greater example of the impact of new media on the process of social change and political reform. What does this mean for the future of dictators across the Arab world? Oh, we are already seeing change. This is not going to stop at Egypt's. You know, it started in Tunisia, and indeed we should give the Tunisian people credit for starting the trigger. And indeed they inspired the Egyptian people also through the new media. I saw all of these Tunisian youth, you know, writing messages to Egyptian young people. We're proud of you. Go for it. We did it. The subtitles on Al Jazeera said the Egyptian people made victory. Thank you so much for talking to us. Her excitement for this is apparent here sitting, her, is sitting in her living room, and I'm sure you felt that too. In Silver Spring, I'm Marquette Smith for CTV News. And Dr. Camus is the co-author of the book Islam.com.